gr- there's this Greek mythology of a, a fellow I write about in the book, Tithonus, who who requests of the gods uh, immortality, and he gets granted eternal life, but not eternal health, and so he has this horrible curse where he's alive, but he's physically decaying all the way into this decrepit, never-ending state, and so I think an extension of that is well. If your if your um, emotional health, which encompasses many things, happiness, the quality of your relationships, any sense of purpose, any sense of happiness, if that is in a bad place, why would you want to live longer? I mean, you, you're, you're objectively suffering, so why would extending that suffering be of any value? Um, and again, like you can th- you can play sort of thought experiments all day long. So uh, let's let's play one. So um, you know. If I told you um, whatever number you think is the dollar amount that it's going to take to make you happy, we're going to double it, okay? That's how much money you've got. And whatever metric of your own physical health defined by how big your muscles are, how low your body fat is, how well you can perform, let's give it to you plus 20%. And um, the only catch is you're the only person on the planet now. Now, don't worry, I've created a bunch of bots that will do everything. So your standard of living won't go down. Like, you're gonna have bots that will do anything and they'll provide your food and everything. How, how happy is your life? Like, how long until you kill yourself? Because think about it, like, what are you doing, right? So that just gives you one example of, wow, if you took away my ability to interact with other people, life is not worth living. Very very few people I could imagine could tolerate that for a long period of time. Um, So sure, that's extreme, but it's a great way to illustrate a point, which is if you have every single thing imaginable, but you have no connection to other people, what do you have?